Something needs to break it. All right, thanks, Justin. You have probably heard a lot over the last few days that people most at risk in this weather are our most vulnerable populations. And that means the elderly and many times people who have no place to go to get cool. Our Tammy Hughes joins us live outside Freighter where they expect to see patients coming in as a result of this heat. Tammy. <laughs> Yeah, they do. Surprisingly, here at Freighter, they told me earlier they've not seen any cases come in. They were surprised by that. And I want to give you some uh, very, this is a new information that we just received in the newsroom. Wheaton Franciscan tells us they have received several cases coming into their hospitals of heat related illnesses. We're told five cases, two of them in Racine, two of them in. Franklin and then one at St. Francis in Milwaukee. These are heat related illnesses. So we are starting to see the effects of this. And you know, for most of us, it just means go inside our air conditioned car or home. But I found for some people, air conditioning is an absolute luxury. It's exhausted, the humidity out there alone. Walking anywhere in this heat isn't advised, but Adeline Boa had to leave her overnight shelter and walk several miles to her daytime shelter. Repairs of the breach. When I say the doors, all I have to do is just keep striving. Just get there. Just get there. You'll be relieved momentarily. Though she felt sick and exhausted when she arrived, Adeline says once inside, she was surrounded by comfort. T shirt, shower, water, food, water, food, water, food, coolness, you know. I see people today, like the people I help, I see so many people that needed water, t shirts. The air. Judge Jemison volunteers at the shelter, but he suffers from asthma and has used their services in the past. I had asthma really bad, so the heat is sort of get, uh, hard to breathe. We found people outside the downtown public library, some lying in the direct sunlight. This is who trauma nurses like Lisa Haas Peters worry about. It can be really scary out there, especially if they don't have a place to go. She says those taking certain medications can be at an even greater risk, and people need to stay hydrated and in the shade if they can. A heat stroke or sunstroke can be potentially a fatal condition, so it really does need to be taken seriously. Air conditioning is also a huge help. The system here at Repairs of the Breach is actually new making it a true oasis in the middle of what feels like an urban desert. I do honestly thank God for the repairs of the breach. And they are so grateful for that air conditioning. And we want to stress that places like that do exist. If you know someone that doesn't have air conditioning, they don't have to suffer in their homes. There are places like Repairs of the Breach and other facilities where people can go, especially overnight, to stay cool. And again, we are starting to see some of the effects of this. Wheaton Franciscan telling us that they have had five people come into their hospitals with heat related illnesses. Freighter says so far they have not seen that, but they say sometimes this heat, it takes a a while for people to really feel the effects so they expect that to change over the next couple of days. Reporting live outside Freighter, I'm Tammy Hughes, Fox 6 News. All right, Tammy, thank you. And those help